Here we have the new Pod 1. Gone are all of the complexities of the lip movements and the dials and the triggers and the levers and nightmare. We now have a much simpler, easier to operate puppet, which is also lighter. Inside, we simply have now a webbing strap. The puppeteer uses this to anchor the pod to the planter so they can insert their hand into the puppet without it moving away from the plant pot. The original plant one couldn't wilt on cue. There's a scene where they're all lining up to go out for dinner. Um, Mr. Mushnick tells Seymour that he must stay behind and look after the sick plant. The original plot one showed no difference. This new plant can wilt. This is achieved with this silver ring and notch. On cue, Seymour can engage his thumb into this ring, pull it down and clip it onto the notch. The plant is now wilted. When placed onto the counter, which contains trapdoors, the puppeteer can then hold the pod into position with the webbing strap and slide their hand into the pod. From the audience perspective, nothing's happened because the plant hasn't moved. From beneath the counter, the puppeteer can then drink the little drops of blood that Seymour drips into the mouth and then at the end of the number grow for me the plant can then grow. The original plant one could only grow two and a half inches. This new plant can grow nearly a foot. I'll demonstrate this again from beneath the counter so you can see it as the audience will see it. So here we have again the grow scene with the pod one. Now the puppeteer has gently slid their hand into the pod using the webbing strap to prevent the pod and plant pot from moving out of position. Then on cue of Grow For Me, as Seymour leaves the florist shop, the plant can now grow and take its own little character move to the audience. This is achieved very simply just by moving your thumbs and fingers round and brings the plant to life. Having performed beautifully on stage, the now wilted pod one must be reset for the next performance. This is done very simply by sliding the sock of the puppet down over the plastic tube held within the plant pot. This can be assisted with the use of the webbing strap from beneath. This locates the pod onto the top of the tube and ensures that it's in the correct position for the next show. The silver ring must also now be unclipped and the wilting leaves gently teased back into position. It's important to remember also that when the pod is placed on the counter that this ring is concealed from the audience, thus maintaining the illusion of the plant having a life of its own.